Hello students. So I come again with this simplex method video which is in continuation of our part 1 video where we discussed four steps. Now the remaining steps are left step 5 and step 6 and let's begin our understanding of simplex method in simple steps. So step 5 says now you have to test for optimality of the simplex tableau. So in case of maximization problem, you have to check all the values in the CJ minus ZJ row. And if all the values are less than or equals to zero, we means that the solution is optimal and we stop solving our table further. And whatever the solution we have arrived, this is the final solution. In case of minimization problem, all the values in the CJ and ZJ row are greater than zero in case the solution is optimal. If the solution is not optimal, then we have to improve our solution till we arrived at the optimal solution. So you have to take a note of this that in case in the final optimal solution, any of the non-basic variable has a zero in the CJ minus ZJ value, then the solution is multiple optimal. It means there are solutions more than one. Otherwise, a unique solution. So you remember in our simplex tableau, there is a column with basic variables in which we select the slack variables. Okay, so after we improved our table, there might be different incoming and outgoing variables which you learned in the later step. In case there are any, and for the non-basic variables, that is the variables which are not there in the basic variables, but their value is zero in the CJ minus ZJ row, it means their solution is multiple optimal, otherwise unique. So this point will also cover in subsequent videos where I'll prepare a particular video to discuss this aspect. Till now, just take a note of this thing. Step 6. In case our solution is not optimal, then we have to improve it. And how we can improve it? There are four steps. So first step is that you have to identify the income variable and the key column. This key column is also set as pivot column. Okay, so how you can identify it? So in case of maximization problem, you have to select the variable with the largest positive CJ minus ZJ value. In case two values have the same values, then you can select anyone. So if there is a tie, you can select anyone. There will be the same answer. In case of minimization problem, you have to select that variable which have the largest negative CJ minus ZJ value. And same in case there is a tie in the value, then you can select anyone. So just remember for maximization, since our objective is to maximize, we have to select the largest positive. In case our objective is to minimize, we have to select the largest negative value. Okay. After identifying this, we have to find out the outgoing variable and the key row, which is also called as pivot row. So how you can identify it? You have to first calculate the replacement ratios for each row by dividing each of the BI element. BI element is your solution element which is there on the right hand side of your equations with the corresponding element in the key column. So this key column you have identified after that you have to divide this key column element with the BI element in order to arrive at the replacement ratio. After that you have to select the variable with the least non-negative replacement ratio as the outgoing variable and the row with the outgoing variable is called the key row. You have to pay a particular attention to this point that in case the replacement ratio is negative then it means the solution is unbounded and we cannot find the optimal solution. It is unbounded. So you have to see that all your replacement ratios should be either positive or negative but there should be a positive element. All should not be negative. 
and that you have to select the variable so this condition that is finding the outgoing variable and the key row it is same for both maximization and minimization so this step is same in both the cases okay third step is that you have to locate the key element this key element you find at the intersection of your key column and key row that element will become your key element the last step is that you have to improve the solution by using following two steps first step says that obtain the base row by dividing each element in the key row key row you will find when you find the outgoing variable that entire key row will be divided with the key element which you find at step c so each element of the base row will be divided by the key element for the next remaining values you'll use this formula which is old value minus corresponding key row value into corresponding key column value divided by key element so you have already identified the key element old value is there in your first simplex w corresponding key row value and corresponding key column value you can identify and then divide by key element after that also if your solution is not optimal then you have to repeat step c step 5 that is test for optimality and after that your procedure will continue till all your values will satisfy the condition of optimality for maximization or the minimization problem simple now let's understand this with the help of an example so this is your initial tableau where you have to maximize this these are your equations and you just have simply put this into your table okay so this is already done now you have to identify whether the optimality condition is satisfied or not since your objective is maximization so optimality condition for maximization says that all the values in the cj minus zj value should be lesser than or equals to 0 but in case the values are positive so it means the optimality has not been achieved and we have to identify the incoming variable and for identifying the incoming variable the condition says the largest positive value so the largest positive value is 50 here so we we'll identify this 50 as the incoming variable so this x2 will be the incoming variable now after identifying the incoming variable and the key column the next step is to calculate the replacement ratios in order to find the outgoing variable replacement ratio says that you have to divide the bi element with the corresponding element of the key column so in this case it is 300 divided by 2 and 480 by 2 so the answer is 150 and 240 now the next step says that select the smallest non negative ratio as the outgoing variable so in this case 150 is your the smallest largest value of the ratio so this is now the outgoing variable so we have identified that s1 is the outgoing variable and x2 is the incoming variable now the next step is locate the key element so this is your key element that is 2 which is at the intersection of your key row and key column the fourth step says that you have to improve the solution so improve solution first step is that you have to select uh, now substitute the basic variable so this is x2 now and the coefficient of the basic variable in the objective function is 50 so just simply write 50 here and select basic variable as x2 then divide the entire base row with the key element so it is 300 by 2 1 by 2 2 by 2 1 by 2 and 0 by 2 so old values divide by the key element which is 2 the next uh, formula for calculating the remaining values of the rows it is this that is old value minus corresponding key row value into corresponding key column value divided by key element so for example you have to 
calculate for this value just a minute uh, for this that is 480 was our old value and our previous value that was the old value was 480 minus the corresponding key call row value the corresponding key row value was 300 this was our row if you see in this 300 if you see so this is 480 is your old value minus corresponding row value is key row value is 300 so this is 300 multiply with corresponding key column value so this is the key column value and corresponding to this is 2 divide by key element so key element is 2 this 2 so divide this so 2 and 2 will get cancelled so 480 minus 300 it is 180 similarly for the next the old value is 3 the old value is 3 minus corresponding key row value is 1 corresponding key column value is 2 divide by 2 so 2 and 2 will get cancelled so 3 minus 1 4 so similarly you can calculate 3 minus 1 as 2 similarly you will calculate for the three elements by using this formula you can practice that and in case of any question please let me know after this is done now we have to calculate the zj value which is the sum of the product of the cj value with the values under the variable so this is 150 into 50 plus 0 into 180 then 0 0.5 into 50 plus 2 into 0 the next is 1 into 50 plus 2 0 into 0 then 0 0.5 into 50 1 into 0 and this so this way you can calculate your zj value this is the addition of multiplication of the each element under the variables with the corresponding cj value so after this is done now you can calculate the difference of cj minus zj so this is 40 minus 25 15 50 minus 50 0 this and this uh, minus 25 and this is 0 now again test for optimality so since all the values are not less than or equals to 0 there is still a positive value and this 15 is the largest positive value so it means now this is the incoming variable so now x1 will come into the basic solution after finding this now next step is to calculate the ratio by dividing the bi element with the corresponding elements of the key column so 150 divided by 0 0.5 so this is 300 180 divided by 2 is 90 now we have to select the least least positive ratio so this is 90 so now this is the outgoing variable and this is the key row and the intersection is 2 which is the key element now again you have to repeat the entire process by substituting x1 here in place of x2 and here you have to add the coefficient of x1 of the objective function that is 40 then you have to divide the entire row with 2 so entire row will be now divided with the key element after that you have to find the use the formula in order to find the values of the remaining rows so this way you can find out that so this is after dividing everything with 2 this will be 90 and after using the formula the value should be this after calculating this now you have to use the zj value so this is 15 to 105 plus 14 to 90 then for next it is 15 to 0 plus 14 to 1 similarly you can calculate the rest of the values then you can calculate cj minus zj so this is 40 minus 40 0 50 minus 50 0 and this is negative this is negative now again test for optimality and in this case all our values are less than or equals to 0 it means we have achieved our optimal solution and the solution is maximum and cannot be improved further so optimal solution is x190 x2105 and maximum value is 8850 so thank you for watching this video and please like share and subscribe my channel thank you